What's your name? Ben. Ben. ben nice Trevor, nice WFO. Um, so you told me a little bit about this truck last night, but uh, I mean, it just screams America. It's what KOH is about. It's super unique for being out here. And then you have a great story. So uh, first off, where are you from? Kansas City, Paola, Kansas. Kansas City, and you drove out here, right? Yep. yep. And uh, how exactly did you drive out here? 1996 cab over. 1996 cab over. Uh, Freightliner. Freightliner. Yep. And on the back of that cab over was yep. this truck, yep. right? Yep. Pull the camper behind that. And then you're pulling this camper. Yep. Got a side by side in it, so. Oh, you got a side by side oh, right yeah. here. So that's in the camper. So I mean, this is what KOH is all about. It's, you know, some people say it's the burning man of the off road it, world. Yeah, it you is, know, it is. Um, but you know, coming out here in this rig you blend in real quick on the lake bed, right? I mean, this is what it's all about. You try, you try to blend in, but this, thing, this thing brings so much So this does not blend in. No, so no. the patina, the look, the low, the low slung with big tires, everything about it. So when I first saw it, I just thought, this is a two wheel drive Chevy pickup with a solid axle, probably got a straight six in it and a three speed in the tree. And he's banging it up the hill. He lives in a trailer park in Yucca Valley and you know, whatever, right? But that's not the case, is it? No, not the case. No, not the case. I was shooting for low stock, make it look stock, make it a, just a super sleeper. And so first off, let's start. This is a 55 Chevy pickup, right? 55 Chevy Cameo. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cameo. Cameo. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. And uh, that's about all that's the 55 Chevy is Pretty the body. Right? Well, let's, uh, let's open up the hood yeah. first. So right, uh, look at that. The hinges even hold the hood up? Yeah. yeah. Love it. So that's not normally where the engine sits in this, no, is it? No, not typically. Trying to get center of gravity back a little bit, and then with the... Uh, Center mount, needed a little room, so engine goes back. And you're thinking this is almost a 50-50 weight balance? I actually, yeah, way? I actually know the exact. You know for sure. Yeah, it's it's 5149, we're 200 pounds off. Oh boy, Yeah. What, so what's the big deal? What's the total weight of this truck? 3786. 3786, so this is uh, just a nice built Chevy 350, right? Uh, yeah, just a 350, 350 crate engine from GM. Okay, Edelbrock carburetor and it's sunk all the way back into the firewall. Um, and then this is where it gets crazy. All this tube chassis, all this work, this is all your handiwork, right? Yep, yep, yep. Front suspension, A-arms, swing set steering. You designed the A-arms, yep. you know. Uh, I know last night I couldn't see the swing set. I'm gonna peek underneath there right now. Uses a- uh, Oh, look at that. Fab Pittman arm to a small swing set. Uses <sighs> a uh, the Jeep Grand Cherokee gearbox. So they got got a medium snout on those yeah where you're not like a you know a half ton chevy pickup where they're short snout or so this like a, this is the grand cherokee steering box and it's, it's just not so big it doesn't take as much yeah, it space take a lot of room and it's it's yep. a medium length snout so if you do like a jk or an l you know a jl or whatever they're they're, they're huge compared to that yeah and then uh just typical i mean you got v belts on this thing oh. how how american is that yeah. that's that's 80s right there um and a standard water pump and as we noticed, there is no radiator here, so it's rear, you know, radiator in the back. Yep. Um, air bumps, King 2.5 emulsions, and how much travel, or no, those are 2.0s. 2.0s. How much travel does this thing have? 14 in the front and 24 in the rear. 14 in the front and 24, we're, and I'm... We're at about 50-50 on travel. I'm looking at the shocks, and they're not as traditional A-arm as you normally would see. They're pretty straight up and down, and they're pretty far out on the arms. Yep. So um, they're closer you know, to linear of travel of that tire. Yep. Um, and and you, like you said, these things suck it up, huh? Oh, they, they oh, you will get pump fade. I mean, we-, we it'll, it. it'll start to oh, fade oh, on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, with oh. the emulsions, it's all about heat, right? Yeah, so yeah. as it gets hot, it will fade a yeah, little bit. But right, that's right about the time you need to take a break anyway, well, right? It's, it's not a race car. It's so not a race car. This thing's just, uh, just so, to drive. Uh, so here, let's let's close this. I want to see, I don't want to mess up your hood. No, you're good. Let's slam it, man. It's, it's slam it? Oh. Uh, So looking at the grill coming around to the side of this truck, I mean, 
this thing looks absolutely, I mean, it almost looks dumped, right? It's lowered, right? Yeah. But how much up travel's in the front? You got seven up. So you got seven up travel and how much down? Seven down. So seven to seven right yep. in the middle. Yep. And then in the rear, how much up travel you got? Foot. So we're 24 in the rear, so we'll do foot down, foot up. Oh, that's awesome. And it, I mean, you go out here and you hit the whoops and it just sucks it up, huh? Mm -hmm. Interior here had to build a giant engine cover, right? Yep. Because that engine's brought all the way in basically right at your leg. Yep. You guys are sitting in, you kind of kick your feet off to the side. Oh, see, so you got a drink holder there. Oh, yeah. Um, stand, standard shifter, what transmission do you have? 350 turbo. 350 turbo yep. with the sidewinder. Um, and then you do have Dakota digital gauges in there, but they're the classic look, yeah, right? Yeah, they're the, the original you, classic look gauge. You don't want to take away, uh, yeah. make this thing newer than it is. And in order to fit in here, super thin <laughs> seats, right? Yeah, not too big fan of Kirkies, but. In you, low back. You I mean, the, co the covers look nice yeah you know? they're they're a nice seat just uh not a lot of support when you're when you're going through the whoops so, so i it hasn't happened yet but my brother built a 72 chevy very similar to this started hammering it pretty hard hit a g out two spidered head marks in the back window yeah. have you broke the back window no yet? i haven't and as far as i know this is still original this is new glass this is a reproduction but this okay. is still original uh rear glass um that was we initially built the truck with the full head rest and there's no way you can and fit it looked it. like crap oh because you, you I see wanted, it up in the window i wanted too. my bars to all my cage to all be hidden needs to function but when you close the doors i didn't want it obstructing through the glass absolutely not yeah. so you got a b pillar bar coming through your windshield and it's like it it doesn't look aesthetically right so we lost the headrest right at the seat belt cut i i so. think uh, you know the interior and i think the look and style of this is on point everywhere. I appreciate you know? it. I mean, the only thing that's questionable is a cigarette lighter with USB ports yeah. in this truck. You, you know, got charge but you stuff. can hide that. Oh yeah, yeah. you can hide. Everybody's got to charge their yeah, cell phone. You got on, charge you know? stuff. Yep. Um, and the roll cage fits in really nice. It's not obnoxious. Yeah. And uh, really, that's a pretty unique bend. I mean, that's not was, easy to get that. Yeah, it was. It was a. Uh, Trial and error, but I, I nailed it. What's in these ammo canisters? I know they're on both uh, sides. Just, just your storage crap. stuff. Yeah, well, there's a few tools in that one, and uh, license and registration and stuff's over here. Oh, there so you go. Trucks tagged. Absolutely, so straight yeah. legal. Well, let's move our way to the back here. Being that this was a cameo, it still had a gap between the cab and the yep. bed, right? Yep. Is this kind of factory for a cameo or how did how did it go together here? <clears throat> no, it was still a gap, but there was just a chrome, there was this pretty chrome uh, piece. Piece. Yep. And the chrome was how they, the older cars, the chrome gets- Starting to come off. Come off. Yeah. And it, it just didn't, it, it made a break in the patina. So you just laid it I up I just tight. left it up. And the gap and the, looks the chassis terrible. is so rigid that you don't have to worry about the gap anymore because yet. this thing doesn't flex and move, right? No, it so this is not steel, right? Mm -mm. No, so I, you know, I wasn't aware of that. So this is something to the Cameo trucks. They ha all had fiberglass. Yeah, the, the Cameo pickups all came with fiberglass bedsides. So I didn't know that. It's yeah. a little bit before my era of yeah, coolness. Yeah, yeah, you know, sure. our, our we were into like. 60s muscle cars didn't get into the older pickups yep. you know um so this is where it gets pretty gucci back here you know like up front you know it's designed and built and then as you the further you get back the cooler it gets yeah. in my opinion you know um and i don't even know if it's really hard to see in there but you got a trailing arm yep with a 2 coil coilover and then um or sorry two the two, two yeah it's a 2 coil coilover yeah 2 coil coilover same emulsion right yep and then two five bump stop or uh, bypass. Two five bypass, yep. yep. And it's in the middle of the trailing arm, so you're about fifty percent. Yep. And that's it's, how it's back a touch from fifty percent. Okay. And and is, what what length are these? Are these twelves or fourteen? Those are sixteens. Yep. Okay. Fourteens in the front and sixteens the back. End. Yep. And then uh, you know, as far as the rear end goes, just looks like a big banjo housing nine inch. Yeah, it's just um, a, a winner's nine inch full floater, 35 spline, 373s, full spool. Yep, uh, and 35 spline. Everybody everybody builds nine inches and leaves them 31 spline, and yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's just stupid. Um, triangulated uppers, and then uh, here's where you brought your radiator to, yep. right? Yep. And do the fans blow down or up? Up. Oh, they blow up. Yep. And uh, if you look on the side over there and over here, 
I noticed these and I assume these are to channel air. Oh, when I first built the truck, we had massive negative air back here. So you go down a gravel road or you're out here in the dust, it just set here and I was getting overheating problems. So even with the fan spinning, they just kind of cavitated because yeah. there was like a nowhere, negative space, no flow nowhere of Nowhere to air. go, nowhere to go. It, when you're building something, it's so hard to, to factor, how can it not just suck air down there, but it basically builds a wall yeah. above this yep. and doesn't channel the air. And, and every truck's different, every shape of the body's different. Yeah. You never know until you just go out and drive it, huh? Yep. The, the louvers on the side are actually from, uh, they're for an airplane. Okay. Um, these are running gear landing light pockets for an actual airplane. There's there's a light that will go in for a, for a uh, landing gear. Then you build this little aluminum piece just to I, scoop a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, it wasn't working quite what I thought. So I was sitting there one day having a beverage and I was like, man, I should put a little stop on there just to maybe cut, to just ram it in there. And, um, so and it worked. worked. Yeah, it seemed and to work. there it is. What do you got here? Fuel cell. So fuel tanks right underneath yep. there. 20 you gallons. Fill it through this. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And so a lot of people will put the fuel tank in the back of mm -hmm. the truck, but by putting it there it helps your. Yeah, we're your, throwing some weight towards the front. Yeah, it gets Getting. your 50 50. Yep. Yeah. Um, spare tire hole, which is now my chair holder for this. This is where you would put the spare tire. Yep. Spare I, tire here. So nobody builds a truck that doesn't have room for an ice chest. You know, yeah. if they don't. Yeah then they're not building the so truck that I want. It's it's actually uh, doubles as a cooler holder and then uh, we'll actually do another spare tire. Yeah, you could do so two we'll do here. two tires. Absolutely, yep. So. Uh, rear sway bar, of course. Yep. Stop the body roll a little bit. Yep, does, um, does it well. get leany and tweaky when you're getting on it? No, no, no. it doesn't. No, stays, and then I see you got flat. mud flaps back here. Yeah. With your Kansas license plate. Yeah, it, yep. uh, definitely the general grabbers will pick some those those random windshield chippers up and Absol so the mud flaps that's that was a uh, kansas specialty there that's and then just this old school uh tail lights chopped off the, the cameo tail lights and yeah and the just some round. passenger side one was broke pretty bad uh and i didn't want to get rid of the patina of the fiberglass i yeah. didn't want to re-glass it and fix it because then that, nothing's so going this to back match. part where the tail lights are built in is part of the fiberglass. Yep. Right? Yeah, it was all yeah. one so piece. When it's this just, side that, was, that's the fix. And then and then only way to fix it is you gotta glass it back in and sand and then nothing matches. Then you lose all your patina. So we yeah. just decided to lob it off. Uh, so as I went from front to back, there's no frame. This is all tube chassis, right? Yeah, I used a small section of rectangle tube um, down in there, some two by four. Oh, that's a, I remember seeing the, that last night. The yeah. cab just mounted I, I wanted to keep this factory floor. I wanted to keep as much factory as I could. And trying to mount a 1955 truck to a piece of round tube was just not, not going to happen, right? So there is a small bit of rectangle tube under the bottom just for basically the cab, but everything else is tube. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, there's a lot of rigs out here, and there's people that came from a long way. And, uh, you know, to get in this thing, load on the back, tow yeah. the toy hauler. And you said this is how many years you've been at King of the Hammers? Uh, Probably eight. I've, I've, there's might be some I'm forgetting in there, but first year was in 2009, and and then I might skip one or two in there. And, and this truck's been out here how many four times? times? Four times. Yep, yeah, fourth year out here, fourth trip. And then just original aluminum steel wheels. Huh? Yeah, just like a o, junkyard o, 03 Chevy pickup. Yeah. Yeah. So. What made you think of that? Go for that wheel. But to, uh, to be brutally if honest, if you with told you, me you wanted to put that wheel on this truck, I would have said. You're ruining the style, what are you thinking? Yeah. But I mean, I swear to God, just standing next next to this thing, it like, it totally blends and pops. I like yeah. how you're parked on a tumbleweed. Yeah, we must be in the desert, right? Night. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely a gorgeous truck, Ben. Yeah, and I thank you appreciate for it. showing it to us. Uh, I know a lot of people are gonna love watching it, looking yeah. at it, so thank you very much. Yeah, man, it's been great, thank you. Uh,